cancers, my cancers. What's up, water babies? What's popping? What's going down in the life of a cancer between November the 1st to the 15th? Hmm? Y'all know y'all like shit, Mocha. I don't know. I'm just trying to get to tomorrow. Shit been crazy. I already know. I already know. To be honest, us confession time. I tried to do y'all message last night. Let me tell you, huh? your energy came through litty, litty than a mother. It was heavy. So I had to put it down and go to bed because I just, I couldn't, you know, but I love you. I love you a long time. Hey, boo, hey, if this is your first time viewing my channel, I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time viewing my channel, look out. I cuss. I may cuss a little, may cuss a lot. Just depends on what the hell these cards say, you know, and with cancer, I feel like I'm a cuss, right? So if cursing is not for you, this is not your channel. And I still love you, love you a long time. Okay. Um, if you do need a personal reading, I do have a fifteen dollar off special going on for my thirty, forty five minute and hour readings. Okay. I do see. Um, I'm noticing that during this uh, Venus retrograde in Scorpio, y'all shit getting real. People trying to come back and talk. Folks is really starting to see people as the one that got away. <laughs> That's just love. Let's not even talk about. Oh, we don't talk about it, but oh. All right, so this will be for my sun, moon, rising, Venus, as well as the cross watchers for the sign of Cancer. I know y'all like Mocha chilling. Hell yeah, I'm big chilling. Because we family, and I feel like I'm finna have a talk with my with my bros and my sis. All right, we finna, we, we finna, have, we finna really, we finna be here. Okay? Um, Need a personal reading? Hit me up. It's general. It may not resonate with everybody. Take what does, leave the rest. All right? Uh, that $15 sale is good to November the 1st, so get it in. I love y'all babies. Let's get it. Okay, so your first message for <clears throat> the month of November comes from my Crystal Angels Oracle deck by Doreen Virtue. The angels wanted to speak, so I let them. Okay, the message that you guys got was calcite. Busy times and multitasking. Take charge of your schedule during this busy time and honestly assess your underlying re your underlying reason for being busy. Okay, and Cancer, I'm starting something new with my meditations. I'm going to tell you, as I was meditating, spiritually something else is shifting with me. And so I'm having to, when I go in meditation mode, get a notepad. And when I usually come back here within the 3D, I'm noticing that I've been wrote down a whole damn paragraph. And that's what occurred with you. And I'm going to write down the words that I intuitively got for you guys. And we're going we gonna to keep it rocking, okay? But I'm going to read your angel message first. I was supposed to do that first, but I'm going to read your angel message. This card comes to you because you are juggling multiple responsibilities and you may feel stressed about your schedule. There's also a possibility that your health has been strained because you're doing everything yourself without help. You may even feel that other people are taking advantage of your kind generosity. You're being guided to take charge of your schedule. What can you release in order to give yourself more breathing room? Remember to pray for strength and setting boundaries and say no to inappropriate requests for your time. If you tend to people please and feel obligated to say yes to others, okay? This card can also be an indication of drama addiction. When there is a pattern of stressing yourself needlessly, signs of this include feeling a rush of adrenaline or a sense of self-importance in response to your hectic schedule, boasting about how busy you are, Affirming a sense of victimhood and powerlessness over your schedule. Okay, in addition, this card is a sign of busy times ahead. In these cases, it's best to plan your health strategy strategy for dealing with multiple responsibilities while still being responsible for yourself. For a lot of you all, I ain't gonna lie. Some of y'all are just, you know, we family, so we gonna keep it one one thousand. Some of you got, some of you all are straight up staying busy in order not to deal with your shit. Okay, now everybody deal with they shit, you know, they own way because the way Mocha deals with her shit, and I'm also your fellow Cardinal Mary. The way I deal with my shit is nothingness. I need to be in the midst of nothingness because you can't truly see the beauty in some shit until you can appreciate and really pull yourself out of that feeling of lack or feeling as if that's who you are anyway. Nothing is. Hold on, y'all. Let me put this damn phone on vibrate. I'm glad it did that now. Hold on. Before I got deep up in the reading. 
And it did that crazy stuff. Hold on, y'all. Trying to get it together because we need no interruptions. Got to get our shit right. <clears throat> yeah, it's like nothingness. That's how I deal with my shit. For you all, you get money through your heartache. Okay, you mask it by taking on other people's responsibilities, which brings me to my intuitive messages that I got for cancer. And I wanted to make sure I did not miss right now. You y'all in Pisces filled the damn page up. Okay. But for cancer, my intuitive messages were fear, codependency. This is everything I heard, you know, in the midst of meditating. And really trying to connect with y'all energy wholly. Indecisiveness. Toxic thoughts. Addictions. Releasing. Rejection. Moving forward. Shadow self. Building. Rebuilding. Trust yourself. Mental abuse. Manipulation, exhaustion, heightened awareness, heightened intuition, and I got instinct. I received forgiveness, love, authenticity. For yeah, I said forgiveness, but. That's what I have for my babies. And that's the heaviness that I felt. For all of you all who are watching this video, everybody gonna take it and you know, take it how it resonates. And, and and as you should, you know. Please be discerning, you know, and just I'm asking that you open up your heart during this reading because I'm a healer and we got work to do. Okay. You all during this time, a lot of you all are walking into a place of newness, but you hold the keys in order for you to be happy. A lot of you all during this time will begin to see the dark side of you, and you have to make that free will choice to release yourself to move towards that light because you've been complacent in the dark for so long that some of y'all don't even know what true peace feel like, to be honest. I feel that a lot of you all are dealing like with this poker face. Hold on, let me let y'all see these cards so I can really get down to the nitty gritty. I'm gonna come back and talk. Hold on. I just don't want my damn computer to cut off because I work hard for that. Not to happen. Shit. Some of you all, I feel like you're putting on this poker face, baby. It's like behind all of this luxury thing. Some of you all may be buying yourself things. During this time, some of you all may come to terms that you got a shopping addiction, and this is why you're having issues in finances, okay? I feel that some of you all are really buying things to kind of mask your pain and mask your inner self, kind of wanting to be with that inner hurt. Spirit is trying to move you forward toward this newness, but you can't go holding that baggage, baby. And some of you all keep allowing someone in your life. That is very manipulative and they just sucking you dry. Even giving your energy to them, even though you could have moved away from this person, but you there, there's a need to forgive, to truly open your heart, to allow it, to truly receive the blessing that the universe, God, spirit, your angels are trying to give to you and help you to give forward and accomplish in accomplishing. And attaining, however, you want to stay holding on to what happened in the past or what you don't feel like you're getting. Some of you all, some of you all could have moved away from someone because you're tired of feeling like you're not enough. Spirit wants you to know that you are enough. Some of you all have issues with rejection. I feel like it's a completion of that cycle of you feeling externally broken during this time. It's time to expand. It's time for you to use that and understand that, baby, you are very intuitive. A lot of people will be coming to you during this time, possibly for advice. And you're going to notice the patterns of the people who are coming to you. You're going to understand why you had to go through those things karmically and how vital it is for you to let that go. 
because there is there has been a walking away of some sort. But emotionally, baby, it's on you. It's, it's sucking you dry like a parasite. And you're starting to react to it during this time in a negative way. But spirit needs you to be authentic to yourself. If you're mad, be mad. But forgive that shit, acknowledge it, and move on from it. Don't stay in that place. It's time to move toward this beautiful light. You had to go through that because this was the catalyst to you evolving and moving into this beautiful light. Some of you all have been working on grounding yourself. During this time, a lot of you all are going to receive a massive ass download while in nature. So if you're the type to actually work out, if you're not the type to work out, your body is upset with you and want to whoop your ass. Get out in nature. Okay. Get out of nature. Spirit is trying to give you something beautiful. For some of you all, it's a new way of looking at things in enlightenment. For some of you all, you're going to learn that you have a different spiritual ability with connecting with nature. You're going to understand why you love animals so much and what is your gravitational pull, how you connect with them for some of you all. Some of you all are dreamers. And I feel like intuitively you're going to be shown something in the form of a dream that's going to allow you to move forward from this place of remorse and regret. Because for some of you all, you're really, really, really holding on these toxic thoughts. Some of you all are drinking too damn much. Spirit has literally been on your ass. How much more? How much more do you beat yourself down in reflection of someone else? Who out here not even worry about how you going to love somebody else holy, baby, who don't even love themselves. The thief. But they ain't stealing if you let them in. They stealing. But you let that thief in your world. Forgive that thief. Forgive yourself for being naive. And forgive yourself for holding that shit so long. Because spirit is trying to bless you with new, new. They're trying to walk you into new cycles, new rhythms, rebuilding, restructuring for yourself. It's okay to be by yourself. A lot of you all are holding on to this hurt, baby, and you had to go through it in order to build you, to move upright. Wisdom. You're needing to see the wisdom in the situation. And it was faded with the number eight being here. That hurt was faded. For some of you all, you are moving through karmic past life cycles. You understand? Some of these lovers are karmic partners from past life. That is the intensity, but it's not about them or the situation. It's about an evolution. Your soul's growth. Your soul's growth. Not Tom, Dad, Dick, Sally, Kim, Katrina. Fuck all them people. Especially if they ain't marching on the rhythm at the rhythm of your damn drum because you have given enough, enough of giving. It's time you put that same energy into yourself and inspire others. Those others coming to you, spirit need you to see your own beauty. This is why you are not alone. Your angels are assisting you and finding that rhythm of love. The vibration that you were made of, that is your gift to yourself and the world, others. For some of you all, this is your superpower. The love that you project upon, that you project from yourself outside to the world. Others find that courage and they need you for support. You don't have to give to these people to the point where you're exhausted, but give that to yourself. And for some of y'all, this love is extracted and, and, and really being projected and you're just leading by example, which is why. You must choose you and trust that you are not alone. There is nothing to fear but fear itself. You don't need not e motherfucking soul to make you feel whole. Spirit is trying to hold you down. Ride or die for the right motherfucker, the self, because caskets ain't got bunk beds. Do you go with woulda, coulda, shouldas? 
and come back and live this shit all over again till you get tired of do you fucking get it right because you know what you have to do you got somewhere to be and this process of loving you instead of seeing what you don't what's not happening see what you have learned where have you been where are you trying to go and had you not gone through this would you have been strong enough to make that move by yourself to understand that can't nobody do it motherfucking better than your motherfucking self it's time to heal baby some of y'all may be saying 333 three, three, I feel so it had nothing to do with this card I just keep seeing it with my pen it's an expansive time it's time to balance that being the number 11 it's time to balance the mind the body and become one with spirit don't call Keisha her ass ha ain't half ass as courageous as you she picks up her shit and run look that shit in the face and deal with it it's time to heal baby It was destined and part of your journey. So be it. It was written. It's time to speak your truths. For some of you, you are creators speaking. And these truths will bring you great reward later. If you just trust and move on those instincts when you feel them the first time. During this time, Spirit says, a lot of you all are ending cycles. You're ending karmic cycles. Hmm. Crazy. I'm sorry for the noise, but I believe in things happening for a reason. It's time to blow the whistle on that shit. We're ending karmic cycles. We are no longer going to have patience and waiting on someone in our energy who don't appreciate our energy, putting us in third party energy. We're done having that patience. We're done dealing with that. When ultimately our ultimate intention is wanting to be nurtured, wanting to truly share a whole love, a non judgmental love, a supportive love. But that love starts with you, singularly. You ain't alone, you in training, working on yourself, being your own self warrior. During this time, a lot of you all are healing. You're healing those abandonment issues. Okay? And it had to... I feel like a lot of you all were forced to this point due to someone actually walking away. Or you just really coming to the, you know, the understanding and the awareness that you have to move away from someone. Some of you all, there could have been a situation where you were webbed in the middle. Okay? You could have been caught in the, in the middle of a three-party three situation unknowingly. And when the truth hit the fan, you could have rolled, rolled, rolled for this person, defended them to to no to defended they ass to no tomorrow. And this person still cut you out. Because to be honest with you, you didn't want to be real with yourself to say this person had baggage. And for some of you all, this was a retrograde relationship. Keep in mind this reading is for November the 1st to the 15th, y'all. Some of you all, some of you all are really, really, really in your head. You don't sleep. You indecisive because you stuck on that outcome of what I want. Well, this is what I want. I deserve. I deserve my Ten of Pentacles. This is what I want. It's what I wish for. It's not that hard. Since why, why is they making it this hard? Why must it be this hard just to attain what I want when I give, give, give so much because you're giving it to the wrong person? God is a jealous God. Don't put no man or no God. Don't put no God, no other, no other God before me. It's just about how you view it. For some of you all, you tired of getting this half ass offer. Hell yeah, I'm defensive towards you. I'm tired. This could be someone in your energy. I see Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Aquarius. I see Sagittarius. I see Pisces. I'm tired. 
I'm no longer accepting these half-assed offers. I'm healing. I'm healing myself, my mind. I feel like someone is going to make an offer of reconciliation and someone is going to be extremely defensive because I done been there, done that. And I know at the end of the day, it's coming with deception. This full moon is really going to affect y'all. Y'all need to Google. Instead of being in your damn head, let me give you some homework. Y'all really need to Google how this full moon is going to affect cancer. And also, I need you to go and um, look at your rising sign as well. And see how it's going to really, 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 truly affect you. Because there's definitely going to be, there's going to be this sense of unveiling. And I feel like a lot of y'all had the pregame warm up through dreams and premonitions. I'll also, you all are needing to get in nature during this time. Spirit is trying to speak to you, but they're going to speak to you in the natural element. Some of you all may be pulled or gravitated, like uh, have this gravitational pull towards water. Some of you all are. Some of you all, there are goddesses trying to channel you straight like that, and they need you to be close to water, especially if you have a cancer sun and a cancer rising. Some of you all, I feel like some of y'all are going to either speak your truth about wanting to move forward and just take the shit, take all the lessons, and just really accept the blessings. You know what I'm saying? That God is really giving you and dodging a bullet for some of y'all and just move forward. You're going to put that fear the fuck behind. And soon as you do, soon as you do, you're going to walk right into someone in love who has that equal give and take intention that you have. Your ace of cups, which may come in the form of a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, a new one, or a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. I feel like some of you all... You want this new beginning, but there's not an equal level of give and take. For some of you all, it's having to do with fire, and some of you all, it's having to do with earth. I feel like if you're dealing with air signs, air signs are just very, very, very indecisive during this time. They won't change, but the change that they want for some of y'all is to end the cycle, but they're not speaking it. But you feel everything, everything. For some of you all, you have an earth sign that really wants to come in and really start fresh, start over, but this person is prideful as hell. Capricorn towards Virgo. They prideful. For some of you all, it's a Leo. I feel like some of you all could have had a tall moment with a Leo, but this person is not ready to move forward. I feel like they will be coming in to communicate that. They may come in unexpectedly, extremely fast. But some of you all could also be in Aries or in Sag as well, but Leo shows their face. Yeah, they want love. You want love. But you damn sure better make sure before you spread your wings and get that damn cup out and just give everything that you be reasonable about it. But use your head and not in an obsessive way. Trust yourself. Trust what spirit is trying to tell you. Get your ass outside. Really be in tune. Ask the right questions. Remember where you've been. Free your soul of that of those burdens. Why would you continuously keep living the same damn cycle, cause the same damn story, and expecting something completely different? If you don't change, how are you telling somebody else that you want them to change? Change what the hell you're allowing and accepting in your life. Accept the fact they ain't shit, but that don't mean you. That don't mean you have to allow that ain't shit ass behavior. Keep it moving, little baby. Keep it moving. For some of you all, <laughs> for some of you all, you just about your money. You want to grow something. For some of you all, you could be actually releasing that fear and starting your spiritual business. Yes, I'm speaking to a few people. Spirits say they've been trying to move. You are healers. What are you waiting on? What are you waiting on? It's time to make a move. You hit a train? Time to get the pushing. Choo, choo. What the hell are you waiting on? For some of you all, whoever this person who is leaving your life during this time, this could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. That feeling that you feel the sneaky shit, yes, there is sneaky shit. There's a third-party situation going on, but this person, they want to have their cake and eat it too. And I feel like here you are being courageous, trying to make a relationship work, but you cannot turn fucking salt into sugar. You cannot turn shit into a damn star. You can't turn shit into a superstar, period. Period. And with this Son of Cups, I feel like Someone wants to, you could have a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, one to come in and renew love, start over. For some of you, you manifested this person. Your thoughts are very strong right now, so be careful how you use them. For some of y'all, you dropping the burdens. I'm over the shit. 
I'm over the shit. I'm over the shit. I'm I'm not I'm releasing. I'm releasing what happened in the past. Hell, I'm releasing anything from the past. New new only. I want some new shit. And I'm inviting, I'm allowing spirit to come in my world and I'm learning to listen to myself and trust my inner self as I'm finding out that I'm never fucking wrong. It's only when I get to this place of me against myself do I beat myself up about taking this damn leap of faith and moving forward when I know it's right. For some of you, here come your Aries. Are you moving forward towards them? And speaking your truth, because ultimately you want harmony in a relationship. You want to move forward. You want victory. But some of you is definitely having to do with fire. You can also have a child with this person. But I feel like you're needing to be authentic within your truth. You're needing to truly, truly, truly choose what really, really, really matters to you, babe. I feel that there's this need of you releasing all of that back. For some of y'all, you really, real heart truly want something, but you can't. Be open to truly receiving it because you've only attached yourself to the outcome of having it happen from that particular person. Don't limit spirit. God didn't wake you up to be mediocre, baby. He woke you up to be great. You plan yourself. Get right, though. I'm going to be strongly in prayer for my babies because this was some heavy energy. Man's rejection is God's protection. Remember that. And some of y'all finna get the truth of an, in an unveiling of a situation in the spirit's way of showing you. I have been showing you how you dodged a bullet, how blessed you are. Release this hurt so I can truly, truly harmony, put, put your mind, body, and spirit in harmony. Release the root of those issues. If they are rejection, if they are being a fear of being by yourself, what is wrong with being by yourself? For some of you, look at it like this. You're not by yourself. You're falling in love with yourself. You're getting to know yourself. Cancers love hard. Put that same energy in yourself. So when people come into your life, they automatically off the rip. No, I can't come with no bullshit. Look how she treat herself. Look how he treat himself. Leave that shit at the door. Take your motherfucking shoes off at my door. Put some respect and some funk on it. That part. Say what you mean. Mean what you say. Forgive that shit if you have to let go. If somebody want to leave, let their ass go. And know that greater is coming. But you have to release. This is what I have for y'all between November the 1st and the 15th. I love you very much. If you need a personal reading, please get at me. Please, please, please get at me. But this feeling of, oh, I don't know if I want to keep going or if I just want to put it down. For some of y'all, you hate that fucking job. And you have something dead on the horizon. Spirit is pushing you out the door because it's time for you to create. No more fucking distractions. Whether it's a job or relationship, distractions, cut that shit out. Cut it out. This is a relationship with an earth on air sign. Cut it out because that is blocking your damn ten of cups. Fear not. The messenger shall appear because a sense of newness states, uh, and the sense of newness, understanding, wisdom, growth, honing, as well as acceptance and allowing is here. Much love. Many, many, many blessings. I love y'all so much, family. I'm sorry to fuss at y'all, but if I didn't fuss, you can't say I love you. Because ain't any, any, any fake-ass motherfucker can sit up and be a yes person in your life. It takes the real deal holy feel to love you enough to be able to love you through your shit and tell you about yourself when you own some shit. We family, and I would expect for you to do the same. Y'all hit me up and let me know if it resonates. I love y'all. Mm -hmm. Bye, y'all.